everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be learning how to make the opacity top so i had this uh, question on my instagram page where i asked people what i should name this top and one of the answers was opacity and it means the warmth of the sun in the winter i was really like pleased with the definition so i decided to name this top the opacity top i've had some people try out this top and the results were really nice. I'll be attaching some photos as we go. So um, this top has ruffle sleeves made of shells and then it has a bare back. So you can see that the back is pretty open but um, this look really looks very cute especially on shorts or baggy sweatpants anything that you would like to pair up with it so uh, the materials that you're going to need for this top are yarn and for the yarn I used winter king it's a four ply acrylic yarn and I believe I used about three balls of this and you also need a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook this is the hook that I used throughout this video and then you also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle this is to weave in your ends we shall keep cutting and joining and doing all that and this is really essential to hide those loose ends all over the project so that we get a neat finish and then the other thing that you'll need is a measuring tip this is very key because we are going to first take the first major measurement that is needed is the bust measurement so my bust measurement is 32 inches that is the full bust measurement this is for a size small that's my measurement and I believe I I fall in the small size so since I have 32 inches as my bust measurement you're going to divide that number by 4 whatever number you have divided by 4 and for me that will be 8 inches you're going to note down that number 8 or let me say you're 40 inches and then you divide it by 4 you get 10 inches whatever number you have divided by 4 and get that number after dividing and note it down it will be very useful as we go along with this project so for me my magic number is eight and as we go along I'll let you know what that number eight is used for as we work this project so now that we have taken our measurement it's time for us to start our top so you're going to start off with a chain of you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to make a chain of 11 So I have my 11 chains here and now the next thing that I'm going to go to do is to go into the second chain from the hook which is this one and I'm going to place my half double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into the second chain from the hook pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook and yarn over pull through all so you're going to continue this all the way across and you'll have a total of 10 half double crochets. So I have a total of 10 half double crochets for my first row and now um, we are going to chain one, turn and you're going to place one half double crochet into each and every stitch across. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten into the last stitch. 
so I counted all the way across so that you know that the number of stitches remains the same from this point until further notice so you're going to chain one turn your work and place one half double crochet into each and every stitch so from this point you're going to keep um, working your 10 half double crochets until you get the measurement from the top of your shoulder up to the armpit so for me that was a total of um, 12 rows and I'm going to continue to work my 12 rows until I'm done and then I'll come back and show you what to do make sure this measurement is from the top of your shoulder until your armpit where your hand splits off your body so at the moment I have my 12 rows of 10 half double crochets all together so this measures from the top of my shoulder until my armpit when stretched so um the next thing that you're going to do is to start increasing on both sides so you're going to chain one turn your work place two half double crochets into the very first stitch then continue to place one half double crochet into the following stitches until the second last stitch and into the very last stitch you're going to place your two half double crochets so you should notice that your work has started um, increasing on both ends you're going to repeat this for a total of five rows of increases so this is the very first one and then this is the second one remember to place two half double crochets in the first stitch and also two half double crochets in the last stitch but the middle stitches remain with one half double crochet so this is my second row of increase So into the last stitch I place my two half double crochets. So those are two rows of increase. I'm going to go off camera and I work my three rows because they're supposed to be five. Okay so I'm done with my five rows of increases and this is how your work should look like. And now we are going to be doing something different. You're going to stop increasing on one side but continue increasing on on the other side so you're going to choose which side is convenient for you so you're going to chain one turn your work i'll be increasing on this side whichever side is okay so i'm going to place my two half double crochets into the first stitch and this is row um let me see this is row 18 so increase on one side and then place one half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way across not increasing in the very last stitch because now we are increasing on only one side So when you get to the end of your row 18 you're going to just place one half double crochet into the very last stitch and then you're going to chain one turn your work since this is not the side that I increased um, I'm going to just go into the first stitch with one half double crochet and then continue to place one half double crochet into each and every stitch until I reach the last stitch so this is row 19 
okay so when you come to the end since this is the increased side you're going to place your two half double crochets into the last stitch so you can see that change this side is now straight but this one is continuing to increase so row 20 this is the increased side so the very first stitch gets two half double crochets and then all the remaining stitches get one half double crochet you're going to continue doing this until you get your measurement that we got at the beginning of our row so measurement B so your bust measurement divide by 4 when stretched don't forget that it should be stretched because we are trying to achieve something that's body hugging so I'm going to continue working my rows until I get my 8 inches because my bust measurement was 32 divided by 4 that was 8 inches so that's what I'm aiming at and don't forget this side remains flat that means there are no increases on this side and the increases are only on this side so so I did a total of 21 rows right from the beginning and now I have a measurement of six inches but when we stretch it it can go up to eight inches and that's what you want to do because uh, we don't want a loose fitting um, top so after this you're going to go ahead and do the same exact panel for your second side before we join them and start working on the general front panel of our top so I already have mine done here it is so this is how you're going to place them the increased sides are going to be on the inside and then the flat sides on the outside so we are going to go ahead and join so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to just chain one and cut my yarn on both panels okay so this is what we have at this point and I'm going to just join those two strings together tightly I'm going to just make a simple knot So after making your knot, you are going to attach your yarn on any of the sides. So I'll attach mine at this end. Go into the very first stitch and attach. Chain one and half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way across one so as i work my half double crochet i'm weaving in the tail at the back so that it doesn't remain hanging And you're going to go all the way across without any increases or decreases so you just go into each and every stitch with one half double crochet Okay, 
So when you get to the middle section, you're going to go into the last stitch of the first panel, like that. And then I'm going to just go in the middle, this space, and I place one half double crochet so that I don't have a gap in between my work. And then I'll go into the first stitch of the second panel. So you can see without this stitch, we would have created a big gap in between, which we don't want. So we are going to just continue to place one half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way across. So this is row 22 for me. I don't know what row you're on, but I am trying to give general instructions so that you can um, make this top to your desired size. So we've come to the end of our row and I'm placing my last half double crochet into the last stitch. So we're going to row 23. You'll chain one, turn your work, and you're going to place one half double crochet into each and every stitch all the way across. So you're going to repeat row 23 until your desired length of your top. Just go all the way across, placing one half double crochet into each and every stitch. So I've gone ahead to do a total of 32 rows because I want my top to be cropped i don't want it so long but you can go ahead and do whatever length that suits your desired fit so mine is 32 rows right from the beginning up to this point so from here i am going to chain one and i'm going to leave a long strand just to do the joinings of the panels later on so just leave a long enough strand pull through and fasten off so that marks the end of our front panel so this is how it will look like so we're going to do something different you're going to put this away because we no longer need it right now you're going to grab your yarn And now we're going to start working on the back panels. We are done with the front panel and we need two back panels. So to start on the back panel, you're going to chain 11, just like we did for our front panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Go into the second chain from the hook with a half double crochet and then half double crochet into each and every remaining chain once until the end of your row. And you should be having a total of 10 half double crochets for your row one. So for row two, you're going to chain one, turn your work, Place one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. So we are going to repeat this until you get the number of rows that you did for your front panel before you started increasing. For me that was a total of 12 rows before I started increasing. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep working. Um, one half double crochet into each chain each stitch all the way across chain one half double crochet and you should be having a total of 10 stitches per row so let me go ahead and do that and i'll meet you guys at the end of row 12. 
because those are the number of rows that I did before I started increasing here. All right, so I have my 12 rows all together and I'm going to start increasing on one side. This time we are not going to be increasing on both sides. We are going to increase on one side. I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So chain one, turn your work, place two half double crochets into the first stitch and then one half double crochet into all the remaining stitches until the end of the row. So we've placed only one stitch in the very last stitch. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work. This is not our increased side, so we only place one half double crochet into the first stitch and go all the way across. And when you come to the end of your row, you're going to place two half double crochets into the very last stitch because this is our increased side. Like that. You should see your work starting to increase on one side but remaining constant on the other side. Chain one, turn your work, place two half double crochets into the first stitch because it's our increased side and then one half double crochet into all the remaining stitches. Like that, and then chain one, turn your work, sorry. one half double crochet into the first stitch because it's not our increased side and continue to place one half double crochet in each and every stitch until you reach the increased side where you'll place two half double crochets into the last stitch. So at this point you should be seeing your increased side very evident and it's obvious where you're going to place the two half double crochets. So this is what you have. I'm going to continue to do my increases until I have a total of five rows of increases on one side. So that will bring me to row 17, I guess. I'm going to be showing you. This is the increase part that goes um, under our Ampits. Okay, so we have row 17 and I'm stopping on row 17 because it's the same exact row where I stopped increasing here on this side before I started uh, maintaining the the edge on one side so i did a total of 17 rows before i started increasing on only one side so you're going to have to do those number of rows so let me show you the only difference is this time we are not increasing on this particular side but you can see everything looks the same here so from this point you're going to continue to just place one half double crochet into each and every stitch until you get the number of rows, the total number of rows that you had for your top. All the way from here up to down here. I told you I had a total of 32 rows, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to place only one half double crochet into each and every stitch until I have a total of 32 rows. We are no longer increasing we're just doing plain rows of half double crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you how my work will look like after that. So 
This is how my back panel will look like after my 32 rows, my 12 rows, then my 5 rows of increases on only one side, then uh, plain half double crochets until I have a total number of 32 rows of whatever number of rows that you had for your front panel. So um, this is how we are going to assemble our work. This is how it will look like when we join we shall join this part here and then we shall remain with this and then we shall fold over and then join the top part and this will be our back side this will be our front side so you're going to go ahead and do the same exact panel because we need two back panels so we are done with our very first one I'm going to go off camera and I work my second one the same exact way that I did this one and then I'll come back and we do the next step okay so I have my two back panels finished and this is what they look like they're identical and you're going to turn your work to the wrong side let me see you're going to identify the right side of your work and I think this will be my right side. Everything looks the same. So place your work on the right side for your front panel and then bring one back panel and place the right side of the back panel onto this side so that the extension is on the outside something like this and then do this it's almost the same exact thing so this is what I have at the moment just make sure the extension on the back panel is on the armpit area so this is the how the back looks like and the front is more plain so you're going to grab these strands that you left behind grab your darning needle and join we are going to be joining the front panel to the back panel okay like this and we are going to be joining row to row so the first row of the front panel onto the first row of the back panel so we are just joining these straight edges we are not joining this part you're going to continue joining until you get to that corner that we created when we started increasing i'm just going into the rows So this will be my wrong side of my work. something like this so I'm joining my very last row just make sure you stop on the corner where the increases stop so in that very last stitch I'll just join two times and after that I will weave in this end just go into several stitches and pull through that so after this you're going to get your pair of scissors and you're going to cut your yarn this is what the front side will look like this is the right side and this is the wrong side of my work so I'm going to do the same exact thing here you're going to get one of the strands that you left behind and you're going to join until this point where the increases stop and I'll meet you guys back
when I'm done with that. So I have both sides joined, both here and this side. Now you're going to go to the upper side here and you're going to join these stitches. So we had a total of 10 um, half double crochet stitches. We're just going to be joining stitch to stitch across. Okay, so this is what we have. You're going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side so that you we create the armholes. This is our armhole. You can see that. This is the right side of our work. And this is the armhole. So we're going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. So I'm done with joining this part and I'm also going to turn this side to the right side like this and now this is how our top looks like I know we have so many ends to weave in I think I'm going to go ahead and weave in all these ends so that we don't have to have them hanging around our top because it now um, they make it very shabby so I'm going to use my, my dunning needle and I within all the ends before we go any further okay so after getting rid of all your loose ends you're going to attach your yarn on one of the corners on the bottom side and I'm going to be working on the wrong side of my work this is the wrong side of my work this is the right side so you want this row to be on the wrong side of your work and you're going to chain four skip one stitch and go into the next with a double crochet chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the next you're going to continue this until you get to the end of your bottom line So when you get here, I've placed my double crochet into the last stitch here, but you can see it's like the joining is also a stitch. So I'll chain one and skip over this and then place my double crochet into the next. I'm just trying to evenly space out the double crochets. So you're going to go all the way across and I'll meet you guys at the end. So at this point you should notice that the general shaping of the top has been made and we are just adding all the little extras but at this point if you try on your top and it doesn't fit that means uh, you need to do some adjustments to your top Okay, so I've made it all the way across and now I'm going to chain one, turn my work and now we are going to be working our final row on the bottom, uh, on the right side. Make sure you've turned to the right side now. So we are going to be creating these scallops that I usually do for my projects. I'm going to go into the very first space with a single crochet, chain three and then double crochet three more times into that same exact space like that and then I am going to go into the next box with a single crochet single crochet into the next then chain three three double crochets into that same exact box single crochet into the next box single crochet into the next box so we are going to be creating these scallops all the way across 
chain three, double crochet three more times into the same exact box, single crochet into the next box and single crochet into the next box. So this is what we have. Repeat that all the way across until the end of your row. So I've made it all the way across and I'm finishing my very last scallop with a single crochet here. This is what you should have. This is the right side of your work. So the next thing that you're going to do is to chain one, cut your yarn, and now we are going to be attaching our yarn into the very first row of double crochets. So here in this row at the bottom of your top. So attach your yarn there. And then we are going to do one single crochet into the very first row, one single crochet into the next row chain four so after your chain of four you're going to slip stitch at the base of your chain and then one more single crochet into that same exact row so one single crochet into the next row one single crochet into the next row chain four slip stitch at the base of your chain then one more single crochet into the same exact row and we are going to do that all the way up one one chain four slip stitch at the base of your chain one more single crochet into the same exact space so i'll show you that one more time oh uh, one single crochet into the next row one single crochet into the next row, chain four, slip stitch at the base of your chain four, one more single crochet into the same exact row. So we're going to repeat that all the way up. So just make sure you go with the flow of the pattern so that you don't have weird gaps in between. You can see that these spikes are evenly spaced and that's what we want. So you're going to go all the way up to this side, all the way down, all the way up until you get to this point in the very last row of half double crochets. So I have made it all the way from this side to this side and this is how my work looks like at the back and at the front this is how it looks like. These specs are going to be all over the edge, the neckline all the way to the back and from here you are going to make your straps because we are already on this end and I wouldn't want to cut my yarn. So. The next thing that I'm going to do is to single crochet into this chain space, this double crochet space, then chain three and double crochet again into the same space. So we are making the strap. So after your double crochet, you're going to chain three and double crochet between these two stitches. And then chain three double crochet between the two stitches, chain three. You're going to repeat this until you have the length of the strap that you want. I'll be letting you know how many segments of these that I did for this top. And then we shall see what to do from there. So I did a total of 30 segments all together. 
and now you're going to chain three and go back on that strap you're going to go into the double crochet spaces with single crochets then chain three single crochet into the next segment and you're going to do that all the way back this is to make our strap a little bit uh, thicker and stronger So I'm going to do that all the way across until I get back to the body of the top. So we're almost at the end of the strap. I've placed my single crochet there and then I'll chain three and then slip stitch into that same exact double crochet space, chain one and cut your yarn sorry so this is how your strap will look like so we're going to attach our strap in the same exact double crochet space this and we're going to do the same exact thing that we did for the strap on the opposite end so attach your yarn there chain three double crochet into the same space chain three double crochet below in between the stitches and you're going to do that for a total of 30 segments or whatever segments that you did for the opposite side and then you'll come back on it just like we did for this strap and then i'll meet you guys after that so now that we have both our straps ready the only thing left is to weave in all our ends i have only one end left and i'll weave it in later because i don't know where i've placed my darning needle oh here it is i am going to weave in my very last loose strand Make sure you weave in all your ends, make sure they are secure enough. And cut. And this is what you'll have for your top. It's a very simple uh, top, but it has a bare back, which is really cool. It gives a very good look at the back and these straps will be tied up like this into a knot so now we're going to be starting on the sleeve we're going to attach our yarn in one of the rows here so I'll attach my yarn here and you will chain three that counts as a double crochet double crochet into the same exact row so those are two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets into the same exact row like that and then you're going to chain two and then place one double crochet into um, the next row then you're going to chain two and place a shell into the next row. So a shell is two double crochets chained to two double crochets. So into this next row, you place a shell, which is two double crochets chained to, and two more double crochets, like that. And then chain two, and one double crochet into the next row. We're going to repeat this, chain two, one shell into the next row
chain two, one double crochet into the next row. So we are going to repeat this all the way around our sleeve. So this is what we have. I've made it all the way around the sleeve and you're going to want to make sure that you, your last row gets only one double crochet after your chain of two, of course. So after this, you're going to chain two and go on top of the first chain three of your round like this and make a slip stitch. So this is what you'll have. And then for the next row, for the next row, which is row two of the sleeve, you're going to slip stitch, slip stitch into the chain two space of the shell. Then you're going to chain three, double crochet again in the chain two space. So you'll have two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets into that same exact chain two space. So that will create our very first shell. Then you're going to chain two and place one double crochet into the next double crochet that's on its own. You're going to skip over all this and go into this. Then chain two, place a shell into the shell. Remember the shell is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Chain two, plus one double crochet into the standalone double crochet. And you're going to just repeat this. Chain two, shell into the next shell. Chain two, one double crochet chain two, shell. You're going to repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you guys at the end of this round and I show you how to wind up your round two. So we've come towards the end of the second round of our sleeve. And I've placed my double crochet here so I will chain two and slip stitch on top of the very first chain three and that's how we wind up our rounds so you're going to repeat round two until you have a total of five rounds or however thick you want your sleeve to be so for me I want my sleeve to be a thickness of five rounds so so if I have two I'm going to continue until I have five rounds. That means I still have three more to go. So I'm going to go ahead and work on those and then I'll meet you guys back to show you how that looks like. So this is how things turned out after my fifth round of the shells. Uh, this is my sleeve and I'm going to attach my yarn here and I do the same exact thing that I've done here so that we have sleeves on both sides. Down here, we are already done with everything. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the same exact process for the second sleeve. And then I'll be back to show you how everything turned out. This is what everything looks like after my second sleeve. This is the back side of my top. And when we turn it around to see the front side, this is how the sleeves look like. I'll be attaching some photos of the finished product when I'm wearing this or on the dummy so that it gives you the clearer view. If you feel like the back side is too open, I just love this because it just created that very good look at the back. If you feel like this is too open for you, you can uh, attach a strap here and a strap here so that you can actually close in the back you just make a knot up so that your back is not so open like this so that's really up to you um for me i just didn't do that because i was satisfied with the final product and i hope you are too i can't wait to see the recreations of the apricity top and i hope you had fun hanging out with me and making this project 
i will see you in my next video don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment on this video and thanks for watching guys bye